Ahlan wa sahlan. Welcome to Intercontinental Aqaba. My name is Khalid Alam. I'm going to take you into an insider tour on what to do around Aqaba. Join me. At night, downtown Aqaba comes to life. It's just five minutes walk from the hotel. You'll find everything, clothes, souvenirs, snacks. Here at Gelato, you can have Arabic gum flavored ice cream. A similar taste to Turkish delight. Mmm, yummy. Everybody knows that the Red Sea is famous with the, with the, the corals. This part of the world, especially the Gulf of Aqaba, is really uh, unique because of the calmness. It's really a calm sea. So it's more like diving in a huge swimming pool. The Red Sea, its warm waters, make it a great place for sailing, jet skiing, and parasailing. It's very peaceful up here. There's lots of ways to entertain your palate in Aqaba. Let me show you. Al Shami in downtown Aqaba is the great local restaurant to get the best grilled meat. This is mensa. It's Jordan traditional dish. Usually it's served during weddings, but you can find it in any local restaurants. Floka is the place to come for a great local seafood. At Floka, remember to order a Sayadiye. Sayadiye is Jordan's version of fish and chips, but much better. Come to Anabtawi for authentic Middle Eastern sweets. Okay, so this is really good, really good. And what you've got underneath is the melted cheese. It's warm, it's not too hot. And then on top, obviously, the syrup with the, uh, with the nuts. Mmm, very good. This is the kind of thing I will miss when I leave Jordan. Have them. Wrap it up, mm -hmm. that will be mm -hmm. airplane friendly. Mm. Well, I'm going to take this one back with me. There are so many incredible things to see around Aqaba. Just one hour drive from the hotel is Petra. It's probably the most fabulous ruin in the Middle East. To get to Petra, you walk through a narrow passage, it's called the Sikh. And finally, you arrive to see this. Petra isn't just one ruin, it's a whole city. Here's an insider tip. If you get here by 10 o'clock, you can get a little bit of sun on the facade. It's really beautiful. Wadi Ram is Jordan's great desert. It was made famous by T.E. Lawrence, or Lawrence of Arabia. It's nice when the sun shines on the mountains and the rock formations, so you can see all the different colors. It's as though you're in the middle of a film set. Here's an insider tip. To explore Wadi Ram, I recommend a four-wheel drive car and a Bedouin guide. Aqaba is full of great shopping. Let me show you. Here at Al Khatib souvenir shop, you just find about everything. Find Bedouin souvenirs, jewelry, rugs, this kind of art was starting here in Jordan. It's an old Jordanian art. I've been wasting a mountain of sand to learn this from my father. Looks easy, but it's really difficult. Gold has a similar price everywhere, but the craftsmanship in Jordan is much cheaper. So you pay a lot less, but you get the same product. For men's fashion, I recommend the Wood Tycoon, just five minutes walk from the hotel. It's like one shop stop for men's clothing. They have everything, Italian suits, French suits, and always good quality for a good price. Thanks for joining me on this tour. I'm looking forward to welcoming you in sunny Aqaba. Bye, ma salama.